let's take an example suppose you have a cabinet like this with drawer with drawer and some partitions below and uh, over it you want a door extra door to hide this drawer as well as this bottom partition so how can we do that so in this case um, yeah so in this the important thing is that in this cabinet have this edit and make sure once you in face tab have this frameless inset okay check uh, if you have frameless the drawers will be outside so it should be frameless inset then drawers is inside and drawer is inside i'll show you see if you have frameless drawers are outside and these panels are extended that's why it's showing like that i will reduce the panels by default zero and this by default zero okay uh, the drawer will uh, like this outside so to counter this you should have select this drawer and choose the construction style frameless inset okay face style should be frameless inset then it's inside okay and then you uh, uh, extend your uh, the side panels by the door thickness plus that clearance so 7 by 8 okay now see now we are ready to have a extra door here uh, you have to first have whatever uh, depth you want for your uh, cabinet you just need to know the the distance from the door out to this plus this gap so it is 7 by 8 inch so suppose this cabinet is 26 inch so the cabinet on which you want outer door extra door you have to reduce it by 7 by 8 minus 7 by 8 oh, sorry not this was not the door door is already this one this cabinet right so this depth is 26 so i'll have to reduce this by the door thickness plus that uh, gap so it is 7 by 8 inch okay so it is reduced so i will check plan see it is reduced so what i will do i need to extend these doors i will i will hide this key okay we need to extend the end panels of this cabinet up to up to here right by 7 by 8 uh, 7 by 8 minus that gap so it has to be uh, thickness of this panel which is 3 by 4 so i will select this go in edit and go in shape and select this left edge and increase right side by thickness of the door okay this is increased you can see here right this is increased because we need some gaps here door need to, this end panels need to be extended then it will look good okay similarly we can do this and we can extend left by thickness of the door thickness of the door plus that uh, gap so it should be 7 by 8 sorry my mistake it should be 7 by 8 okay so this is extended save now my this door which i have placed separately 
is perfectly there after this end panel see after this end panels so i'll show you how can you have your doors so i will remove this existing door see uh this is the door uh just i will take a snapshot to have these dimensions and uh, i will just click delete sorry i will just click delete okay so eight percent if you see i don't have extra door here to hide the drawer and the bottom partitions i have just extended my side panels by the door thickness plus that clearance gap now i will add the door so you need to place separate door here from your library you can find from the default library somewhere you can find uh, panel bags mm -hmm. yeah cabinet so in sub assemblies here in sub assembly you can find a cabinet door or a cabinet door with hinge so let's have cabinet door with the hinge and drag here see it's on the wall one which is okay the thickness of this should be the thickness of this cabinet so let's copy it go to door mm -hmm. single door cabinet door with hinge and have it paste it right and on the extreme left i have two inch filler so two inch filler okay now it has perfectly came on the our uh, let's see 3d hmm. but door should be uh, height should be reduced by four because four is the toe height and elevation should be given for now and also uh, its depth what was the depth of this the cabinet uh, depth of this I have many products so it's confusing the depth of this cabinet was 25 1 by 8 copy it and go to door now uh, single door yeah and paste here okay still if we see we need to add thickness in this door uh, by thickness of the door so depth of this door mm, yeah this is our door see selected depth should be plus 3 by 4 which is the thickness of the door now i need to add it is perfectly snapping the side panel of my cabinet but we need some gap and that gap was the 3 by 4 us it was 7 by 8 minus 3 by 4 so we can calculate it or i need to just i need how much it should be extended i can just minus it by 3 by 4 and then again plus it by 7 by 8 then i will have that gap this gap okay see this default gap here this one this is my end panel this black one and this blue is the door and this is the gap this is the gap okay so i have this so in this way you can play and have your uh, cabinet and a door is perfectly see the door is now perfectly hiding uh, the drawers and the partitions of the cabinet perfectly right in this way you can have such cabinets so hope you got the point guys 
in this the important thing was this you need to uh, drag any uh, cabinet and measure uh, you switch on this this snap okay you can snap everything by once you get this arrow uh, then you can just measure this height okay 7 by 8 this is thickness of the door plus this gap okay this is 7 by 8 this is important once you have this you can just play place a door from here from the sub assemblies and adjust its position so hope you got the point you like the video press the thumbs up and do share and subscribe and comment down i answer every comments so thanks thanks for watching i'll come with another fantastic video soon thank you thank you guys if you like this video please subscribe press the bell icon to get the instant notifications of the upload i'll keep uploading trainings tutorials videos for the cad packages so keep watching stay tuned thank you